Okay, hello. Right, it took a while for Train Simulator to start up, but it's all started up now and we can continue. So, let me just do a chat. Okay, rooms bath is... Oh, you're going rooms bath. Thank you for staying here. Uh, it's a six. Okay, Steam version. Uh, DLC mods. All right, so you've got the season, the frontier, the frontier pass. Okay. Oh, th that's no. I think this the one only one I don't have. Okay. Mm-hmm. <laughs> a big price tag, of course. Looks like it's a bunch of other things put together. Yes. Yeah. Uh Okay. Yeah, the different countries because we were talking about Civ Six. Yes. I will get to Transim shortly. <laughs> yeah, I I got some of the country DLCs when there was a sale as well. Wait, what is that image? Oh, it's him. What's he doing there? Witzbold. Ahem. Oh, hi. That needs to go over here. And this needs to go over here. Hello. Right, so, train simulator. Today, we're going to be driving over here, if you know where this is. So, we're going to be driving from Sheffield, which I believe is this grey thing. Yes, Sheffield. All the way up here to Crowden. Uh, and that's going to be interesting. I'm going to do it with a locomotive, which is not designed for it. Uh, hold on, why can't I start with that? Hold on. Why can I not press start? That's odd. Uh, is it the thing? Manchester to Sheffield? Would that, no, that wouldn't work. That's odd. Um, right, hello, Kangafango, yes. Hmm. Is it the train? Oh! I'd have, I had to reselect it for some reason. I don't know why. Anyway, uh, yes, there we go. Yeah, I'm not sure if this train will make it. Hopefully it will. Tadami line. Ooh, that looks interesting. Uh, right. Um, oh, hi, good evening. Gov. We're gonna drive from Sheffield, which is the which is this grey thing here, I think. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> eh, hmm. Try to take a different train. Oh, that's weird. Buggy. Oh, that's a great shot. That is. Mm -hmm. By David Harrison, as you can read. If you can read that. This is the old Woodhead route by, route, by the way, so we may encounter some buggy brake vans at some point, and locomotive maybe. Just, if you see all sorts of weird glitches, don't worry, they're mostly safe, it's just with my, I think it's because of my graphics card maybe, but it's only this one route, well, this one route plus a few German ones, well, no, actually that's not true, Clinchfield and the Five Circle have it as well. So yeah, there's some shader issue going on, I think. That doesn't work for me. I don't know why, because it should. Uh, oh, Super D! Oh, warship! I know, I shouldn't be this excited because of a warship. Oh well. Oh well. Excitement does not necessarily mean positive uh, excitement. It could be negative as well. But it's kind of, it's kind of special. <laughs> Oh. And yes, if case you couldn't tell, we're taking this one out. Again. Hold on. Performance mode off. What is the button for performance mode? That's not it. I don't know. It'll be fine, hopefully. Okay, Pharma, Pharma 600, water level, that's fine. Cylinder cocks need... Oh, that's not good. Ah. Uh, okay. Well, we'll probably be driving mostly from sort of this view. 
so I can actually read the text in the corner. Can you hear the game? Is it good? Uh, Amy Chu Willis, are you still there? I can see you in the use and chat view. <laughs> I don't know. So yes, this is uh, the Starling single wheeler. One of the ones anyway. And... Hold on, are these buttons... Oh, these work for that as well. Oh, that's interesting. Okay, and we've got some lovely teak coaches. Yes, I know they're not specifically for this locomotive, but when I picked up some coaches, I did want teak ones, and I wanted ones that I could use for more different locomotives. For example, if I put the Flying Scotsman on these, it would work. Plus they're teak, and they're very nice. They also work from the inside. Right, so we are at uh, Sheffield. Over up here, I think? No, that's the, the goods thing. Okay. Yes, we're down here. Yep. And we need to go to task, which is here. Okay. Uh, oh, it's Emily, the Emerald Sterling Engine. Yes, hello. Looks like the crew are going to need their umbrellas today. Mm -hmm. Driver and fireman, yeah. Or a really well suspended blanket. Ha ha ha, yes. I will likely be driving from this view, most, view mostly so I can read the text, because of the white sky, you can't make anything out like that. Please, Dovetail Games, give it an outline or a background. Just please. Anyway. Right, so, what's the speed limit? Starting speed is 15. Okay. Release the brakes. Put it in, eh, not full forward, a little bit forward. Okay, uh, I should also open the dampers, hold on, there we are, that's on anyways, so now we can set off. Yay, it's driving, as some people might say. Not wheel slipping, that's good. Okay. Drop shadow anything. Uh, oh, imagine this in BR Black. Yay, indeed. <laughs> Ooh, BR Black. That would look interesting. Choo choo! Hope you're having fun. Yes, Emmy Choo, look! You can see, look at the locomotive. It's the Sterling single wheeler. It's from the 1870s. It's a Victorian locomotive. Isn't it beautiful? It can go quite fast as well. Percy the steam train? Per no, Emily! It's Emily from, from Thomas and Friends. Indeed, we're just heading out of Sheffield. Mm hmm. Yes, have fun with what you're doing as well. <laughs> oh! It's me! Yeah! Hello! Hello! Yes! <laughs> okay, what's the speed limit? 30. Okay. Let me put the put the brake into being running so I don't lose pressure. And off we go. But the livery is more like Percy's, that's true. Mm -hmm. You're right. You can see there are other views as well. So in this one, I can also open the firebox door so you can look into there and see the fire in there. <laughs> you can see how it's illuminating the cabin. You can also sit up here or down by the wheel, so you can watch the wheel go around if you want. <laughs> I just want to make sure I'm not losing any steam. That should be fine. And since we're going to be climbing 
I think I'm gonna put a uh, shovel a little bit more coal in the firebox as well. You can see that we're picking up a bit of speed now. <laughs> Like still 30, yes, and then it's going to go up to 70, which we probably won't reach. And we're going to start climbing, which is going to be interesting in this locomotive, because uh, with this one big wheel in the center, yeah, not really meant to do a lot of climbing, but we'll see how well we get on. Just need, just need to make sure I keep my pressure high. <laughs> <laughs> so this locomotive was made for trains motor by Caledonian Works, if anyone's interested. So so it's not on Steam, even though it is uh, under Steam. <laughs> yes, okay, we're about to reach 30. There we are. And in here, of course, the different... Uh, gauges and dials and things do actually work, most of them, and they actually do stuff. Wait, did I set off my cylinder cocks closed? I thought I had them opened. Ah, that might have been a mistake. Let's close the firebox door a little bit. So, just like, just, I just want to keep it a little bit open to have a little bit of secondary airflow. And if we want to, we can go over to this side and we'll watch the scenery roll by. Sheffield, yes. Are we up to... Yes, we're up to 70. Okay. Let's see if I can gather a little bit more speed, maybe. Hopefully. Yes, I'm still gathering speed. What are we going up? A 1 in 131 gradient. That's okay. Oh, right, that's... <laughs> right, that's fine. The Ballad of the Sterling British Folk Rap 1870. <laughs> that's hilarious. Yeah, we do, we, we do need more kill in there. It'd be so nice if the if Doncaster was on this map as well. That'd be so nice. Then I could drive the Sterling single wheeler from Doncaster to Manchester. Okay, we are generating more steam than we're using. That is that is good. I don't want to put too much fire in, uh, too much coal in the firebox. You can hear, really hear it going now, can't you? Haha. <laughs> So nicely done as well in this game. Wadsley, that was. Uh, there, there is a separate Doncaster Works map. Yeah, but that's just Doncaster Works. That's not, that's not actually connecting it to anything. I think. When we get to a tunnel, we need to make sure to close the firebox door. Otherwise, we could get fatal blowback, which is when the air gets sucked in through the funnel and then 
pushed out through the firebox, pushing fire into here, which we don't want. Maybe there are merged worship bits of these donkeys and that's bad. We we need to play now! We need this to play now. Oh, this to play now. Oh, Emily's theme. <laughs> I think we're still slowly gaining speed. Yes, we are. Although we will lose speed when I have to put water in. Mm. Let's see. The next station is... Hold on. There. And then we've got one up here, which is... Oh, uh, deep car. Deep car. Okay. So... How do we make it a deep car, I wonder, without filling up? I don't think so. Okay, well, we'll just... Actually, are we blowing off? Oh, we are as well. Okay, in that case, let's use the... Uh, exhaust steam to put a little bit more water in, because we've got the, the regulator open. So even though that is using... It is losing a bit of pressure this way. We are losing a bit of pressure this way because, uh, well, it's it's cooling down the boiler. We're not actually using live steam for it, which means we're not losing as much pressure. Is the boiler level, like the water level, actually rising? That's the question. I don't see it rising. Hmm. 0.27. Oh, 0.28. Okay, it is rising. That's good. Ah, there we are. Couldn't take a screenshot, unfortunately. Okay, well, levels, what was rising, we're still getting a little bit more steam in. Well, losing a bit of steam actually, but that's fine. Nope, not that. You don't want that. Nope, you don't want that. I want that, yes, there we are. There's the wrong button there. Okay, we're still slowly gaining stuff. Uh, water, that is. But we're losing pressure a bit. Mm. Let's see, if I reduce the throttle a bit, will that actually help us? Uh, it's fidgeting about a bit, it's 15... 12... I'm not sure if it is actually, because the draft, the increased draft, is actually helping generates team as well. Although I suppose that's probably good. That that should hold us quite nicely. And we're not actually lo well we are losing a little bit of speed, but that's fine, we can gain that back later. Um right. Or maybe the, rather this. What is that? Oh an ad. Oh it's Pencil's theme. Yes. Alright. Uh, oh, bye then. Aughty Bridge, did that say? I don't know, maybe. Good thing you don't need to worry to disable HUD for taking external screenshots. Haha. <laughs> Good thing, yeah. We are losing a bit of pressure, but I really need to get the water level higher. We can sacrifice a bit of speed, that's fine. 
Ooh, no, that wasn't a good choice. Let's try dropping the throttle a little bit more. Uh, the other famous British Sterling, favoured by our friendly neighbourhood Imperial Stormtroopers everywhere. Ah, yes. Uh, Fireman to coal. You're fired! Shovel <laughs> shovels the coal into the firebox with a chuckle. <laughs> I see. Okay, where are we? Center play. Oh, we've... Oh! Ah. Uh, oh, right, we're coming up here. I think we might need to stop here at uh, Deep Car to uh, load a bit more water in and to blow up as well. Well, blow up the steam, not, not blow up the local, of course. Uh, and the other other Sterling, that's not even British. Oh yeah, Sterling trucks. Mm -hmm. Hold on, are we actually going? Yeah, we're going through platform two. That's fine. I did get this up to like 80 miles per hour the other day on the, I think it was the Brighton main line. Well, then that doesn't fit in with the with the stream. Yeah, we do have to. We, I do want to stop here. If I can, if I haven't. Oh no, I've left it too late. Ha! Huh. Oh well. Hmm. Yeah, it was because I was trying to figure out the camera. I because I couldn't see the speed as well because it was cut off. Okay, let's stop here then, and let's see if we can just blow up a little bit more. Because we need more water in the tank. <laughs> Blower's on, that's good. The water level, by the way, is up here. We're at 0.57. I want to get it up at least 0.8 or 0.9. It's because we're going uphill, which this engine isn't really s designed to do. Uh, right. Oh well, then. Do the stormtroopers fit in with the stream? Sterlings to defend the Sterling when those pesky rebel commandos try to rob the train. And what are the stormtroopers with Sterlings to protect the Sterling driver and riding? Sterlings? Of oh, Sterlings, of course. Oh, I see. No, they are on the train guarding the mail car. Ah, of course. Yes, we're stopped because of a, <clears throat> a red signal. Yes, of course. That will be underway shortly. Oh, right, naturally. How silly of me. <laughs> Okay, at 0.82, I want to get a little bit more. Oh, and then we need to boil. Ooh, okay, that's uh, okay. That's fine. That's fine. We're cooling it down quite a bit. 
Okay, we're at point nine. Let's just do a little bit more. I don't want to prime it. Okay, we're losing quite a bit of boiler pressure like this. Okay, let's stop that. And let's stop that. Close those. And now we just need to allow it to generate a bit more boiler pressure. But we can, I think, already go underway. Let's try. It's a little bit of sanding as we start. Of course, release the brakes. But I deliberately did it this way so that we wouldn't roll back down the hill. Almost released. Here we go. Let's put that onto running. And off we go. Yes, we're already generating much more pressure now. I should have. Uh, oh! No, no, no! Is everything okay? There we are, yes. Nope, come on. Grip. There we are. Isn't easy starting with this on a grade. <laughs> ah, right. You'll be underway shortly. And we're all and you're already under the weather, literally. <laughs> close close those. That rhymed. Does this thing come with cab and gauge lights? Cab heating? <laughs> cab well it does come with cab heating. Cab lights, however, I do not believe so. Uh, gauge lighting, mm, I, I don't think so. Uh, oh right, that's a firebox, the fireplace. Mm -hmm. They have their own special turbo laser rail car on the rest of the rear of the train. Probably causing all of the wheel spin. Ah, of course. <laughs> Ooh, I've got to hold my finger on X to have the... Oh right, those. Hmm. Yeah, railway guns don't usually work that well. And I'm glad they don't, really. Okay, she is picking up a bit of she is picking up speed though, that's good. Let's see how many miles to go. Uh oh only about fifteen miles to go. Uh Wartley too. This road will be passing soon. Yes, Wartley as well. Two. You put in a bit more coal just to get that uh, boiler generate that steam generation rate higher. There's Wortley. Okay, and I can release the sander. Yay, great. Okay, we, we ran out of battleships and have a few cannons left over. What should we do with them? Hmm, let's mount them on a train. Uh. Nice wind, we smoke. <laughs> yeah. That was probably the thinking. Ooh, that's... Uh, is it still climbing? Oh, it is still climbing. We can still put in more coal. That's good. We haven't reached optimal fire mass yet, which means we're still... Uh, ideal fire mass, which means we're still generating more uh, pressure as we are going, which is good. I need to keep an eye on that because I don't want to overfill it because if I overfill it, well, then we're going to smother the fire. Let's see, could I? 
Ah, okay. I'm just trying to see if I can put a little bit more water in, maybe? She does eat through, well, she does, yeah, eat through water quite quickly. Burn through water quite quickly, I suppose. Okay, the steam generation rate is still climbing, that's good. And that might be the branch off to, I don't know where, oh, probably up there. Okay. Yes, it's the steam generation rate is still climbing. Good, good. Okay, so uh, reminds me of the good idea, bad idea segment of America of America's Animaniacs, where that's the bad idea. All right. Oh, and here we are. Tunnel. Need to close the firebox. Which means I... well, that's okay. Ah, luckily it's quite bright in here. Uh, right. Now we're out of the tunnel. I can reopen the firebox. Keep shoveling on in. Ah, uh, that, that looks nice, doesn't it? In the rain, the countryside, the steam train plowing through the rain and the air and everything. Uh, right. The cannon shoots and it tips the railway car over from the knockback. Oh, landing on the guy who fired it in the cartoon. Especially since you couldn't actually aim most of them. I know. You had to front find a piece of track, uh, a place where the track pointed in the right direction. I know. I know. Yes. We're still using steam a little bit faster than generating it, and we're not gaining. Okay, well, it's still we're, we're still good. Uh, right. Yeah, and turning the cars around is so tricky. If you've got turntable handy, and mm, if you do, it's gonna take a while. Well, the cannons are mostly too big for turntables, plus the turntable probably wouldn't be sturdy enough. Or a really big way. Why? Yeah, you're right. But that's really just a curve, or a series of curves. Or a really big guy. <laughs> I, good idea. Close firebox. Bad idea. Leave it open. Yeah, exactly. Lovely foggies. So, does opening the firebox automatically load coal? No. Um, the key is to open the firebox is F, you hold F. To close it, you hold Shift F. To change the rate at which you shovel fire is R to increase it and Shift R to decrease it. And for the injectors, it's I to open the injector, the exhaust injector, and K to open the tap, and then O for the live injector, and, and L for, the, for that tap. Oh, now we're going. Are we going downhill? Oh, we are a bit. Oh, and there's a 30 coming up. Okay. Since there is a 30 coming up, I'm going to... Well, I'm going to break a bit. So that's what I'm going to do. Uh, apply. Plus, I'm going to load more water in. Yeah, we're going to speed a little tiny bit here, but that's fine. There we are. Now release. And yes, now it's now we're filling back up on water. That's good. 
At least that put that into running. And then okay, 30, and then this goes up to 50 again. Don't want to slow down too much. Uh, right. The real big car segment I mentioned earlier doesn't actually exist, I just thought it was on, on spot. Oh, right. It shovels it, but it doesn't load it. <laughs> Press R to put in one shovel, or one shovel full, or does it keep shoveling automatically? E R changes the rate at which it gets shoveled. There is no indicator, you just have to listen to it. Um, with some locomotives, just either you're shoveling or you're not shoveling. So listen to it. Now I'm not shoveling. If I press... Actually... Now I'm not shoveling. If I press and hold R, listen to it, you'll hear the, the clanking sound. Just hear it. Now it's shoveling. Now if I hold Shift R, it'll reduce back down. Listen. There you go. Oh, we're here. Uh, not at our destination, but we're wherever this is. Oh yes, this this one with the, that starts with P. Yep, center player, come on. This is uh, Pennystone. Okay, that's ooh, that's too much. Ah, okay. Well, at least it'll hold us for a while. Uh, my ears are not good enough to notice. It's just a, like the, the click, click, click sound. If it's in the background, listen. That's click, click sound. That's the sound that you've now pressed the button. And then you can sometimes hear very quiet shoveling, like a bit. But yeah, it's difficult to hear. Speed limit should be 50, yeah, and then going up to 70, okay. Uh, yeah, I couldn't really hear it either. Maybe it's better with, the with headphones. Mm hmm. Probably. Or just the high squeak creaking. Oh, just the high squeak creaking. That's one, yeah, that's that's the thing I meant, but then you can hear the. I can hear that, but I can't make out the clanking. Yeah, the clanking is very quiet. Maybe they don't have an outline for that because they want to incentivize players using it from within the cab so that they have to use the dark background of the cab. Hmm. Nope, too many years jumping out of perfectly good airplanes, riding in armored vehicles, and on the firing range. Ah, uh, I see. Hmm. Okay, how many miles? Uh, mm -hmm. 10 miles, not too far. And we're generating lots of steam, that's great. Okay, in that case... Yeah, let, let's just let the steam build up a bit more. Oh, right. Mm -hmm. Ah, no! Don't advertise your updated Parallels version while I'm playing Trains and Later. So we are now getting into the bit where it starts to get really quite hilly. Uh, although, I'm not sure how much the gradient is going to increase. Hmm. Oh, and we need more coal. In the pie box, I mean. <laughs> so the crossing. Ooh. 
Yeah, it's hard to get a good looking shot with the coaches looking so big behind it. Mm. Okay, that's all good. What's uh, the next station along the way? Next station? Uh, mm -hmm. uh, I don't know. We'll, we'll, we'll see. We'll see as we go. Ah, uh, the coaches. Mm -hmm. Because they just tend to dwarf the locomotive a bit. If I zoom in like that, you can see how the cap of the locomotive is just so much shorter. And it's a bit difficult to get a good looking angle on it, I find. Well, that's quite nice, but still. Okay, what are our what's our condition? That's good. We're generating loads of steam. I think that's enough coal for now. Okay. Let's see. Oh, it's actually flattened out a little bit. That's interesting. I think you might need Anna and Clarence. Oh, Anna and Clarence. Oh, right. <laughs> uh, yeah, I get what you mean. I think there are some better coaches, but those I couldn't really use. Those those other coaches I would only really be able to use with this locomotive because I don't have really have any other ones that are of this time period. Maybe I don't know. I don't think I do. Maybe some, maybe a tank engine. But I don't know. I don't. I don't think so. I don't, mm. I don't know. I don't think so. I, I don't even know how expensive they would be. Okay, everything is going very well. Let's have a look in here. Okay, that is the steam pressure. Okay, it looks like it can go up to. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Uh, yeah, that's ten to eighty. Okay. Well, that's fifty. Okay, that's fine. Probably subs of ten. Ah, uh, so five. So. <laughs> Note that there is no actual speed indicator here. Okay, we're going at 40 miles per hour. Uh, the TS Marketplace DLC is generally cheaper than non-Marketplace DLC. Oh! I don't know if it's on the Marketplace or not. It might be a third party site. Okay, let's have a look. Ooh, we need to put more water in. And more coal. Let's see how the uh, exhaust injector is doing on its own. Maybe that'll be enough. I doubt it, but maybe it will be enough. We'll see. Non locomotive filling stock DLC is, as far as I know, always on the marketplace. Ah! Oh, I, I had no idea. I thought there were also packs that you could buy on websites for rolling stock. Items on there are generally priced at around 2 Oh, I see. Point three three is our what level? Let's see if it raises or lowers. 
do Caledonia Works have coach DLC as well? I don't know. I have no idea. I realized my webcam's a little bit... Uh, the contrast is slightly low because this is the setting that I have usually for Discord. For the Thursday thing. Point three three is our wanted level. What? No, 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 water level. Oh, and it's point three one now, so we want to increase that, hopefully. Dunford Bridge. Forty-four miles per hour. Oh, tunnel! Ah, uh, close the firebox up. There we are. Okay. Oh, and we're actually descending. Okay. Great. So, I'm 70. Okay. Which means I'm actually going to open the live injector as well. Because we have now dropped below 0.3 water level. So, since we're going downhill, I can just... Lead roll. Don't have to use that much steam at all. Okay. Almost at fifty miles an hour. Ooh, let's see if we can actually get up to 70. Oh no, we've only got four miles left. Okay, come on. We need more power. We might as well use the steam. Might as well burn through it. Because we don't have that much left to go, and I want to see how fast we can get it on this stretch. If we had more time, I could... I, we, I could have gone all the way to Manchester, and that would have allows us more space to really speed up, but, well. Okay, let's see. I think that might be enough. Let's close the exhaust, the, no, the live steam. Uh, in the hopes that it will uh, preserve our steam a little bit more. Right. Okay, 53.8 MPH. Look at that. The lighting's a little bit odd, I will admit. How far? Oh, there's Woodhead. Woodhead 4. We've got three miles to go. Oh, oh, whoa, whoa, I've just got an idea. If I can maybe catch the train coming out of the tunnel, that would be great. Over here. Wait, which one is it in? Ah, which one is it in? I think it's, yeah, it's this one. Okay. I'm probably only going to have one shot at this. Ah, uh, okay. So that's doing good. We're losing quite a bit of that. Okay, let's close the other injector as well. Let's reduce that to 37. Oh, we need more coal. But we can't do that because we're in the tunnel. Okay. Uh, no, 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 not single. Double track. We're in the double track tunnel. Here it comes. Ah, that was nice. Okay, so we're back out in the open. 
Uh, fire. Yes, we need. Open that. Shovel and coal. Ah, uh, you can see now we're getting into the hilly bit. It's a pity that this is kind of where our journey ends soon. Oh, curling two. There we are. Oh, we're about to hit the speed limit. We're about to hit 70 miles per hour. 66. Oh, come on. We can do this, surely. Yes, we can. And don't call me Shirley. Come on. Oh, we've got 1.2 miles. Come on, come on, come on. This is what this locomotive is designed to do, to go fast. Come on. Okay. 70. Now it's brake. Brake. Yes, sure. Just slow down. Okay, 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 okay. There's a nice bridge over there. That's fine. Uh, how are we doing? I'm okay. Where can I see the station? Uh, no, it might be behind that bend. Oh, wait, but now we can put more water in as well. Haha. <laughs> well, actually, I'll close the... I think that one. Although... That one won't work much. Okay. Right, that's fine. Now we can release the brakes. Open the exhaust injector. It's fine. Open the live injector as well. Sure. We've dropped it 0.3 again. Let's uh, go over to this side. We're doing 30. Ooh, we're speeding up a bit too much. Okay, there's the station. I want. I do not want to miss the station. So I want to slow down to about 15, which means I'll need to put it into apply self lapped A little bit more pressure. Okay, we're coming it in a little bit quick. Let's just dump the brakes. Okay. Oh, no. Mm, come on. Slow down. Slow down more. Oh, wheel slip. Wheel slip. Come on, as long as one coach stays on the platform, it's because we're going downhill. There we are. And, well, we've got how many? One, two, three, and technically there's one door of the fourth still on there. Eh, I'm gonna count that as a success, considering the train simulator is as well. There we are. Well done, you've reached the end of this quick drive scenario. That was fun. It wasn't easy, <laughs> but it was fun. I really like this turling. I'm so happy about it. <laughs> okay, we've run 15 minutes past 10. And... Uh, yeah, I know. Yes, I know, I've already read your message about that. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's shut that down. And then let's switch over. Mm -hmm. Ready. There we are. Okay, so. Right, where was I? Oh, right, the marketplace thing. Yes. Uh -huh. um. Oh, they've released a H2. Oh, let me look. Oh. That looks nice. It's, I always like the H2 with those big wheels, those two big wheels on there. Anyway, back to this. All right, tunnel alert, shields up, firebox chat, yes. Oh, they have done rolling stock. Oh, have they? Ah. Ah, ha, ha, ha. CRLMS coaches, no. <laughs> no, none of that looks right. It might be on the marketplace then, but I... Mm. Yeah, I'll have to have a look. Maybe there's something in the readme. Anyway, grey tunnel. Whoa, that's a long tunnel. Ah, I know. Downhill with a tailwind pushing you through the tunnel and the engineer has a big rock in his pocket. Ah. <laughs> Aren't you in single track tunnel? Mm -hmm. Nope. Also, after it's out, maybe go to the old tower structure above the town's entrance exit. Ah, 
kind of gone past that already. <laughs> Single. I thought of that joke too, just now. <laughs> 70 miles per hour, yay! No, you have to go get to 88 miles per hour. I wouldn't have been able to stop. Too late. We'll have to try again tonight. Ah. Uh. <laughs> when the constable's asleep. Alright. Oh, if you hit 88, we could have gone back to the beginning of the stream and had another run through. Ha! <laughs> That would have been funny. Or off human for flat. Exact yes, exactly. <laughs> no, visually. Uh, no, visually, there's still one door on there. Technically it isn't on there. Oh yeah, you're right. Um Haha, my feeling was right. Yes. Uh an interweb person. Hello, you're just catching us at the end of the stream, unfortunately. The stream usually ends at uh, 10, so we've gone a little bit over. But it will be archived on YouTube. How are you doing, an interweb person? I thought of that joke too. Just now was referring to, yes we can, and don't call me Charlie. Ha, yes. Hello, you've caught us right at the end. Bloody typical for me. Oh well. Well, you can see the times on there, on the on the schedule up there in the corner. They, they are in BST, British Standard Time. You can convert it at your own leisure. Leisure. Uh, there are some conversions down there as well for Central European Time, Eastern Daylight Time, uh, PTT. PTT. What does PTT stand for? Pacific Daylight Time. Yes. Uh, also, I need to switch this over to the default. There we are. Oh, thank you for coupling up. We'll sure to take you. We'll be sure to take you along the next time we take a train out. Uh, right. We'll have a good one, I suppose. <laughs> also, I didn't know the Internet Explorer was armed with a gun. I'll keep that in mind. Oh, is it in your uh, profile thing? Oh, right. I see. I see. Yeah, the profile picture. Also, I earlier answered a summons to your YouTube video. Yes, I have seen that there's a comment there, but I've not read it yet, because I want to take my time in reading it. But I will respond to it when I've read it. Uh, <laughs> oh, nice. Follower 102, yes! Sure, nice. that's a really nice analogy, with the train and the wagons coupling up. Thank you, don't worry about it. Oh, which one? Uh, I might also read through it. The last one, it's the last train's one. Right, so with that, Human for Flat's done, for now at least, until they update their game and add more levels. And I, I've just spotted the, the watcher, the viewer counter, jump from three to four. Why are you coming here when the stream's over? Aww. Anyway. All right, yes, well, someone summoned me, so I had to go. You perhaps ought, uh, ought to come up with a... Uh, S and T joke, eh? S and T. Uh, what do you mean by S and T? Uh, hmm. S and T systems, the company you mean? Uh, right. Anyway, signaling and telecommunications. Oh, oh, right. Okay. So, Samprite and uh, tin, tin and grace. Uh, lights on sticks and none such. Right. So, with that, I really do need to end the stream because I do need to go now. So, thank you all very much for watching. This stream and the last one will be archived on YouTube. And next Monday, we'll be back with something else. Maybe Civ 6, maybe... KSP, maybe open to DD, who knows? I don't, not yet anyway. Uh, right, and thanks for having me in chat for this one. <laughs> yes, thank you for being there. So, Kanga Fango streams on Sundays, streams lots of nice stuff, have a look. He's got his streams archived in the highlights section on Twitch. And that's pretty much it for now. Uh, right, okay, yes, you're welcome. Bye everybody, bye, bye. Okay. <laughs> Just waiting for it to catch up. Good night. Yes, good night. <laughs>